Greetings and welcome to the 79th episode of Retro Rant. For this one, we will be taking a look at an obscure Amiga platformer, Charlie J. Cool, released in 1996 by Nevada for OCS ECS Amigas, as well as a separate AGA version. Being such a late release, this is not a game I had back in the day and, judging by the roasting it received from the press, maybe I would have avoided it anyway. But this was an Amiga exclusive it seems, and I have a special affinity for obscure games, so I was quite eager to dive into this one and see if it's any good or yet another one of these average Amiga platformers. The premise of the game is perfectly silly, so extra marks for that. Charlie was having a nice stroll, but he got stuck while stepping on some super glue and then a grand piano fell on his head. These things happen guys, so be extra careful of falling grand pianos. After this quite realistic death, he's in between heaven and hell, as if his bad luck isn't enough and he must choose where he will go. And this is decided via your actions during the game. And no, this is no visual novel, I swear. The game has pretty decent graphics, although nothing to write home about. The colorful backgrounds fit well with the smug Charlie and the cute creatures that desire nothing more than to kill you, even though you're already dead. The OCS, ECS and AGA versions do not have any significant differences apart from some smoother color gradients in the AGA version. The animation and the scrolling are very smooth, so no complaints here. I think the music is the game's strongest aspect. All the tracks are bright and good-natured, an excellent fit for the game even if they lack some punch. There is a great variety of different tunes for the various game worlds and I liked all of them. Also. There are several humorous and well-implemented sound effects which are simultaneous with the music. The controls are quite tight and you can choose up or button for jump for those console enthusiasts out there. The gameplay is where the game suffers a bit though, since Charlie J. Cool might be the definition of the generic Amiga platformer. In each level there is a key which opens the exit, and I believe each time its location changes, so that adds some variety and unpredictability in the gameplay. The various enemies move in set patterns in the screen and unfortunately they respawn. There are several coins scattered around the levels, but they don't matter much other than adding to your score. There are also several power-ups, which can vary from the moderately useful such as shields, to the outright detrimental such as reversing the controls, so I usually don't bother with them. Although the level design offers different paths you can follow to the end of the level, so there is a small degree of exploration, the level design is far from optimal, with some blind jumps and weird enemy placement at times. Also, the game offers a password after each level, so you don't have to do the thing from the beginning, and I am a huge fan of that, since Amiga platformers rarely give you passwords. Seems like you have to have a grand piano in the head to get some quality of life or death features in Amiga Land. 
overall. This is the epitome of generic Amiga platforming, but I feel the press has been very unfair with it, maybe because of their stiff competition. Even with that, I have a good, if not very exciting time playing this one, especially since, with the help of the passwords, I can limit my sessions to short ones before generic Amiga platformer Tedium Syndrome starts to set in. It is no Guiana Sisters, Super Frog or Kid Chaos, but if you are a fan of platformers, it doesn't hurt to give it some love. So that's it for now, please watch out for folding grand pianos and I'll see you next time!